dinosaur is this? It has a funny shaped head. It's a Parasaurolophus. This dinosaur had a one meter crest. How about this one? I don't know. It's a Cycania. It had spikes all over its body. You know a lot about dinosaurs, Toshimitsu. That's because I want to be a fossil hunter. What's a fossil hunter? It's a person who searches for dinosaurs and fossils. So Toshimitsu, do you have any fossils? <laughs> well, actually I don't. Really? That's too bad. Okay, I'll find some dinosaur fossils and show you guys. I've gone out to try and discover some dinosaur fossils. I'm in Nakasato Village in Gunma Prefecture. They used to think that there weren't any dinosaur fossils in Japan. But 16 years ago, they discovered one here in Nakasato Village. This is the fossil. This is the backbone of a dinosaur from 120 million years ago. I want to find a fossil like this one. I'll bet I can find some while I'm in Nakasato Village. This area is right next to where they found the dinosaur fossils. This cliff is made up of a lot of stripes. They're called strata. The fossils are supposed to be found in the strata. Aha! Nope. Nope. I've been digging for half a day and I still haven't found anything. I'm sure there's somewhere around here. There's a reason why I chose this place. The thing I'm carrying is called a geological map. This map gives me clues on where to look for fossils. The different colors show the kinds of strata and their locations. This is where I'm digging right now. The area where they found the dinosaur fossils is very close, about a kilometer from here. The geological map tells me both of these strata might contain dinosaur fossils. But I haven't found any. I wonder why. This is the Dinosaur Museum in Nakasato Village. The people here know a lot about dinosaurs. So I'm going to go ask them some questions. This is Mr. Kazuhisa Sato. He's a fossil hunter. I asked Mr. Sato about how to search for dinosaur fossils. I see. You'll never find them that way. Even if two strata are from the same dinosaur period, they don't always contain fossils. So, if you want to find dinosaur bones, you should look for a place where you find shell fossils. Shells? Mm-hmm. Why should we look for shells when we want to find dinosaur fossils? Nakasato Village used to look like this about 120 million years ago. It was probably close to a big ocean and a big river, which means it was an estuary. These kinds of dinosaurs used to live in areas like this. That's the reason why dinosaurs are buried here and became fossils. So, what kind of things do you find in an estuary? Usually things like freshwater clams and shells. I see. So shells are the key. That's right. But why do we find dinosaurs together with shell fossils? He told me that we could find the answer by checking how strata are formed. I'll check the data box. Most strata are formed by the action of running water. 
The current of a river carries sand and mud downstream. When the sand and mud reach the estuary, the current slows down and they settle on the bottom. As the sand and mud pile on top of each other, they form layers that look like stripes. When there is a heavy rain, a large amount of sand and mud are carried down the river and are deposited in the estuary to form a stratum. Let's do an experiment to show how this works. Strata are formed over a long period of time. Sometimes, some living creatures are locked in a stratum in the estuary and become fossils. The most common kinds of fossils are shellfish that lived in the estuary. But sometimes, dinosaur fossils are found together with the shells. He told me they found strata in Nakasato village that have a lot of shell fossils in them. Right. I'm going to find some dinosaur fossils. So, you see the black rock over there? That's where you could actually find some fossils. Okay. Here's one. Oh. Aha! Uh -huh. Looks like he's already found something. Look, I found a freshwater clam. This is a Costa Serena. This is a big one, see? This is a Hyamina. Yeah. It's also part of the freshwater clam family. Hmm. It's huge. It looks like a normal clam, but it's actually a freshwater clam. Hmm. I wonder if we're getting close to a dinosaur. Why don't you break this rock? Sure. Try using the chisel. Okay. Come on. This time I want a dinosaur fossil. Right. A little more. Look. Here's a freshwater clam. Oh. This is an oyster. Yeah. Let's try this side here. Yep. Okay. Good job. Look. This uh -huh. is a hyamina. If we pour some water on it, we'll be able to see it better. It's black and shiny. Yeah. Only this part. It's a different color from this part. Yeah. This shell fossil is from 120 million years ago, during the age of the dinosaurs. This is the stratum where we're digging. There should also be some dinosaur fossils in the stratum. If we keep digging further here, we should see some dinosaur fossils, right? We might, we might not. There's always a chance. What do you mean, a chance? This stratum doesn't just go further in, but also comes out further behind us and goes a lot deeper as well. But that doesn't necessarily mean there are any dinosaur fossils in it. That's why we have to be very patient and keep searching carefully without giving up. What? Don't give up. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Why don't we look for fossils, too? Sure, sounds good. But there must be an easier way to find dinosaur fossils. So, we decided to find out what kinds of dinosaur fossils there are. We found these. These are fossilized footprints of dinosaurs found in America. Footprints can become fossils, too. They are also found in the strata in Japan, as well. We visited the person who found the first footprint fossils in Japan. This is Professor Masaki Matsukawa. 
He showed us a dinosaur footprint that was found in Korea, a country neighboring Japan. What's this? This is a dinosaur's footprint. We poured plaster into the imprint made by the dinosaur's foot, and then we made a cast of that. But why are you looking for dinosaur footprints instead of bones, Professor Matsukawa? There are so many footprints left by one dinosaur that there is a greater chance of finding them than bones. That's why I started to study dinosaur footprints. It's not only because there are lots of them. You can also find out more about how dinosaurs lived from their footprints than from their bones. For example, how fast they walked and how they grouped together. The professor is looking for dinosaur footprints, not only in Japan and Korea, but also in China and Mongolia. The clue to finding footprint fossils is to pay attention to a certain characteristic of a stratum. This rock here has ripples. You have to look for rocks like this one. The shapes that look like waves are found around the footprints. This is called rippled rock. This is the clue. I found out the reason why. Sometimes you can see sand and mud in the water that look like waves. Waves in the water create this pattern on the bottom. When sand and mud are piled on top, they sometimes become fossils. Footprints sometimes become fossils near the water. So, if you want to find footprint fossils, you should look for strata that used to be near the water. The clue is the rippled rock. We wanted to see some real rippled rock and fossils. Professor Matsukawa took us to the place where he first found some footprint fossils. What? Nakasato Village? Isn't this where Toshimitsu is? Yeah, he's probably close by. About how old would you say the footprints are? They're about 120 million years old. 120 million years old? They're really old. Hard to imagine, isn't it? Yeah. Ah, here we are. This is it. It's, it's huge! So big. Here's some rippled rock. It's so bumpy. That's right. These bumps, they are created by the water current. That's why it's called rippled rock. It looks like there was water running here until recently. Yeah. There definitely was some water near here 120 million years ago. Well, where's the dinosaur footprint? I found one. Look, isn't that one too? You're right. These footprints are a hundred million years old. It's amazing they're still here. The key is a stratum that used to be near water. Hey! Huh? Isn't that Toshimitsu's voice? No way. Hey, Toshimitsu! Did you find anything? I only found some shell fossils! Really? Let's help each other search. Okay. Hey, we're coming over there! Gotcha! 